Hello Capricorn, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do the reading regarding the person you have on your mind. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We will see how your person feels, the action that they would like to take towards you, how do they view you, what are the challenges that they're facing, what they love best about you. We will see what they're hoping for, what they don't like best about you, their true intentions, where are you mutually at and the best possible outcome that they see with you in this connection. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In the extended, we will see how you both mirror each other and the status of the connection. The link is in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to know regarding their person? One more. Well... We have the sun here. I feel like there's a lot of happiness. Oh, okay. Someone is always shy here or with the sun and the seven of swords or hiding. They want to come out though. It looks like with the nine of cups, there's someone that has a wish fulfillment to come out of this hiding situation. <sighs> the devil. Capricorn energy. We will talk about it. Wow. Two major arcanas. Another one. Okay. They have the devil towards you. I will say those are the feelings when it comes towards you. But uh, I want to see what I want to clarify. Right now, I'm getting a uh, last desire. As I mentioned, there's someone that wants to get out of whatever has been hiding. There's a lot of wish fulfillment here. But with the devil, they feel trapped. They feel codependent. They have a certain last and desire, an obsession here. But they feel codependent because... It, this person is, Capricorn, I have to tell you, this person is, they're hiding. Even their action is the high priestess. Some of you Piscean energy here, but it's just someone that um, has an epiphany, has a realization, knows that, you know, you guys have a telepathic communication here, but are they going to come out of hiding? Are they going to tell you their feelings? Are they going to always you know, keep it secret. I want to see what the, the clarification will be. But right now with the high priestess, I'm getting that is this person that says, I have this inner secrets, I have this inner knowledge, and I'm not sure here what I need to divulge yet. How do they view you as someone here that is in control? Maybe very stubborn, very much someone here that always has a lot of power needs to be in control, needs to have, you know, their own domain here. Uh, it can be there's a, a power struggle. But I'm getting just someone that is very strong, a strong foundation and can be um, kind of my way. This is me. This is what I'm holding on to. The challenges is here with the seven of wands that someone feels that there's, there's a certain defensive energy here going on. There's some type of blockages. That's, that's what I'm getting with that. We will see, but I'm getting um, like the, someone is not budging. I'm standing my ground. I'm getting the same kind of energy as that a little bit. A lot of blockages and a lot. I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not moving forward. I'm not going back. I'm just standing here in a defensive type of mood. Um, what they love best about you is the king of swords. We're getting someone here that is very analytical, very decisive, very smart, very intelligent, a great advisor, tough-minded personality. What are they hoping for? With the chariot, they want some type of uh, movement, some type of decision. They want someone to decide and go for it triumphantly. They want to come towards you. If you guys are, have a distance together, they want to come towards you with the chariot. Okay, so I'm getting that there's not some type of clarity. Now, what they don't like to, about you is the Ace of Swords. Now, they're coming with this... High Priestess here. So the Ace of Swords tells me that someone needs to open up. I don't know if you have been very cutting with your wo uh, word or you have not been direct with this person because their intention is the Page of Swords. This person may be watching, finding, um, trying to find out information about you, wants to talk to you, wants to know more, is still very curious about you. If you guys are not talking, this person definitely wants to talk or is watching or I'm getting with the Ace of Swords, this is what bothers them. There's something about truth and clarity that they're seeking here with you. Both of you are in this type of um, fantasy situation going on. 
with um with the seven of cups venus in scorpio a lot of desires a lot of uh, possibilities dreaming away having all these emotions and nothing they're just drowning and thinking about all these things with what can you have with each other the fantasy the infatuation type of energy but what they see possible right now is waiting more patiently waiting that's what your person is doing because the blockages again someone here is not opening up and is being very much stubborn So what is the devil, please? One more. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Venus in Aquarius and the devil. There's, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of resentment there, conflict. Um, like they want you, but they don't want you. With the Five of Swords, someone feels like, um, oh, I'm not going there. There's going to be some type of defeat. Um, there's a price to pay in this situation, especially if there's been bad blood or some type of hurt between the two of you. Again, I know that they have a desire, but the Five of Swords tells me that they're trying to not want this. That's what their feelings, because someone's feelings are very much here hurt or someone someone's ego is hurt as well there with the five of swords why the high priestess okay they definitely want to come forward they want to get out um, of you know whatever is being elusive whatever it is this um connection here that has not gone to be physical they want something here with the knight of wands to be more physical um more passionate more of a go-getter type of energy you see the high priestess is here with the king of swords and the emperor again here we have this authoritative energy and the high priestess the feminine that holds this um knowledge they want to come towards you but it looks like they have to um i'm, I'm getting like they have to take the mask off What is the emperor? Okay. Very hardworking. How they view you, someone that always tries to improve progress steadily here, whatever it is that you have to achieve. Your own boss, your own person. But, um, Hardworking with that eight of pentacles, I'm getting a, a, someone that is hardworking. Also, when it comes to this connection, you want to feel like you have um, certain responsibility. Again, this is their view. That's how they view you. Trying to improve. Why the seven of wands is here a challenge? Which that card in itself, it's a challenge. Okay, I'm, I'm getting that there's no sharing here. There's not a balance. Like someone is not budging. I don't know if there was a one-sided here and now the other person feels like I gave and I did not receive anything. So I'm not doing it anymore. Someone may have not, you know, reciprocated this situation. For some of you, it's like, I feel like someone says, no, I don't need your charity. I don't need, you know, that, um, like, being breadcrumbed. It does not have to be you. This is a challenge, you know, that uh, when it comes, what they see possible. What is the king of swords here? Looks like those, all this fire now. The King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So that King of Swords, what they love best about you, whatever it is, someone's passion, burdens here, 
whatever this choice, it looks like you always try to look at it analytically. Yeah, there's passion there. They look at you as someone very smart and always try, tries to make the best decision here. You feel responsible for other things. You have maybe, again, have taken more on yourself than necessary. And also, I, I, there's passion here, and they know that even if there's some type of ego situation with the Five of Swords of conflict between the two of you, they love that part of you. All right, so let's see. What is the chariot here? One more. Okay, whatever it is at Crossroads, they're hoping that someone will make the decision and move forward. Close the distance, not be uh, here at Crossroads, not be undecisive. They want some type of traveling towards you, of movement towards you. That's what they're hoping for. Why they don't like the Ace of Swords? Okay, someone here has not gotten closure. I don't know if someone cut, you know, this connection here immediately and moved forward or someone never was able to look uh, at this situation and move in a new direction. But this is what they don't like. There's something here about communication and how things were left or said in a way that might have been hurtful. Because remember, this person, feeling wise, they have not moved with the Six of Swords. They have the Five of Swords. They still feel conflicted. They still are kind of in this situation trapped when it comes to these codependencies or when it comes to their true desires. And this is, they, they really do not like that. Why the Page of Swords as intentions? Oh my God, the devil. I'm getting a lot of obsession here. A lot of, I want to talk to you. With the devil here again and in there. And the page of source, first of all, like to me, is like someone that keeps tabs, wants to know, searches. It may be that there's um, certain things here that have been hurtful and they want to clear the air. I'm getting obsessive thoughts. They want to get out of this situation, though, with the devil. That's what I feel. The Seven of Cups, I feel like this is both of you emotionally obsessed. One more. Yeah, you guys are hurt, but you're not giving up. They're definitely, uh, you and this person have, um, have a lot of hurt. I don't know if something ended badly. Um, you both feel like you want to give up. With his Ten of Swords, it's like, is it the worst over? But still, there's a lot of emotions here included. Psychologically or in your mind, you feel like, okay, I should like, I should let it go. This ended up badly. But all those emotions there. And that's why they feel like, how much longer will I have to invest in this? The Emperor wants to come here. What is the Seven of Pentacles? They're waiting for someone to return here, hoping and waiting that there's going to be the romantic night that is going to come. That's what they see possible. A lot of patience with this person and a lot of, um, let me invest in this dream. For now, like someone is trying to let go of all of these things that have not worked out, but they're waiting here for this Knight of Cups to come in, or they're waiting here to come towards you, depending, but this is what they see possible with you. So... I'm not getting that they are leaving or they are done. It's just they're trying to figure out here what's the next step is when it comes to both of you. I really hope this resonates with you guys. We'll see what's going on between the two of you in the extended. Thank you. Bye-bye.